bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Well, the angels bow before Him. The heavens do adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, Jesus, He's that God. We serve, yes, Jesus is that God. We serve, oh, the angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him, and what a mighty God we serve. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Ah, God have mercy. Thank God for being here today. Thank you for his blessing Amen. to us today. And yeah, as you can see, my musician is not here today, but it, it's okay. He'll be here next week. Lord, we're going to be out today. But we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Thank God for God. We're going to be just fine. Thank God for you know, blessing us and just allowing us to be able to come back into his presence once again. So glad to see all of you here. There are others that are coming that are on their way here that will be a part of this church today, Amen. be a part of the ministry today. We, it is time for us to worship. It is time for Amen. us to worship. Understand with me right now. Understand with me, other one. If you're able to, if you're able to stand, stand with me right now. And go before the Lord in prayer. After prayer, and it's just a uh, uh, Catherine, Catherine, that's a, 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 we expect you to do things now. Yeah. We just expect it to happen. We expect you to work out something. We expect it, Lord. Thank You've you given us that you know, our faith has grown to that Jesus. space. And we thank you for the faith that we have in you, Lord. We come as a result of our faith today to worship. Lord, we come to worship you in spirit. We come to worship you in truth. We pray that everything we do here, Lord, that we are standing before you and we come before you. Everything we do here, Lord, we pray that you would receive it. Receive every song we sing, every word we say, every prayer that, Lord, that's, that's, that's prayed. Do it for your name, say, Lord, everything that's offered here, Lord, as praise, as worship, as thanksgiving to your name, we pray that it is acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, now bless everyone that's here. There are others that are not here for various reasons. Lord, some can't be here for various reasons. And I'm just asking you to keep your hand upon them, Lord. Have mercy upon them, Father. Take care of them and keep them. Here. Some are working. Some are sick. Lord, have mercy. Some are showing you for various reasons. But, Lord, you know the issue. You know what's going on. And we just pray that you would keep your hand upon them. Bless us all. Continue to help us all. We love you for all things. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sister Catherine is coming as you're standing. She's going to read the scripture text for praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to read Psalms 150. Uh, and when we need to seek, say, let's read it out loud together. Read down and come all in up with it. Thank you, Jesus. One fifth. One second. Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the farmers of his house. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of his trumpet. Praise him with the doctor in the heart. Praise him with the timber and the dance. Praise him with the string and structure and organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. Number six. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. 
Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sister Monica is not gone. Sister Monica is coming right now. She's going to lead us in a couple of songs as we move forward here. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. She's already opened up the door. She said that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. She's already opened up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How great is our God. See to me how great is our God.
came to honor the Lord today. I came to honor you. You did too. I know you did. You came here to bless him today. You came to bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Ah, Lord, I'm urging. I still feel the power of God in this place. I still feel the power of God working in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, I'm saying with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, somebody said hallelujah is the highest place. I, I just want to go and give him the highest praise today. Hallelujah! Woo. I don't know what you need today. I don't know what you need today. But some of us came with some needs. Some of us came with something. We need God to do something for us. Some of us came with some real needs today. We need God to do something for us. He's worthy to be lifted up. He's worthy to be praised. And 
And the, 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 the psalmist said, let everything that have breath. Let everything that have breath. If you get breath that God has given you to pray for. For those that want to give electronically, of course, you can give via cash app, dollar sign, L-S-P-C, and the word beta. Hopefully you'll not have experience any more issues with cash app. I think things have kind of been uh, corrected of, of, at this point, so I think there are no problems. Uh, Givelify, of course, is another way for you to be able to give electronically if you want to give uh, you, you Givelify. Some of you off, you know, that's the way you prefer to give. Thank God for you. We appreciate you for your continuance and pray and blessing the Lord with your gift. Offering via Givelify and there are other ways also. But certainly, some of you have you brought your check and you brought your cash with you. Or whatever you have, you brought something that you said, I want to just honor God with something today. Stand with us right now. Stand with us right now. Thank God for Mother being with us today, ushering today. For those that are in the back, you can start from the rear, and you can come around from the rear, and just honor the Lord with what you have today. Honor the Lord with what you have today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It looks like Sister Florida is with us today. Ah, yeah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Thank God for His goodness. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for His goodness unto us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for those who are here. Uh, this is her church. She ought to be here. Thank God for her. This is the Cooper. Mother Cooper is with us. Thank God for them. Oh my goodness. I didn't say anything much about it on the week. He could small, just a very small man also. Amen. They have been sick. Amen. But God raised them up. Amen. God raised them up. God did. And they know we did. Thank God for doing it. Thank God for doing it. So glad for all of us being here today. Thank God for you. Thank you for being a part of the giving. Thank you for the one. Even the ones that are online, thank God for you. We appreciate the Lord for you. Thank you for being a part of what the Lord is allowing us to do here in Bayden, Mississippi. And, and just thank you for your love offering and your gift also. We appreciate you. Pray with us now. As I said, her name is everyone is finished giving at this moment. Pray with us. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus. We come again saying thank you again. Lord, we come in again in prayer saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you've done for us. Lord, we thank you for your goodness unto us. Thank you for smiling on us. Thank you for providing to, uh, unto us. Lord, we thank you for it. And, and, and since you gave us something, Lord, we've come today to give you something. Lord, please receive it. Please honor it what we've given you. And Lord, even return it to us, even a hundred folk that you came. And we know you're able to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We have some announcements. We have some announcements. I know there's a special announcement we got from, from uh, Greta Harvest. Greta Harvest over in uh, Thank you, Jesus. Where are they at? Green Greenwood. Wood. Right outside of Greenwood. I'd like to call them shoot. They'd like they to the shoot. They, they still in Greenwood. But it's, it's not. Right there in green, but there, the church they, they sent us a special announcement. Um, uh, you make sure you read that announcement also for us, please. Thank you.
scholarship, and I'm just getting over and co as a manager of the scholarship. I, Aisha T. Miller, praise the Lord and really in the precious name of Jesus. This is the time of year where we celebrate our past and first day for the years of service, our service, our work, and dedication, and greater harvest of worship them. God has blessed with us with a man and woman after his own heart and true love, his people. But they encourage us, uplift us, and we support us to the will of God. We court to invite you to help celebrate our past and first lady, Bishop Ernest J. Miller, and Dr. Virginia H. Miller, 44th Pastoral Anniversary on Sunday, October 20th, which is today at 4 p.m. We look forward at, at, to you coming out to help make this a grand celebration that they will always remember and never forget. Thank you. May God
Now that's that. We, we need to fast together. It's that time. It's that time. God, the Lord is doing some things. And I'm telling you, when, when the Lord starts doing things among us, the enemy wants to get busy. That's right. Amen. Huh? Just look out. They want to raise your head up and, and get busy and start trying to create chaos and, and problems and issues. So we're going to be fasting. We're going to be fasting together as a group. We're praying together on Tuesday, of course, from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. But on, Tuesday, on Wednesday, we are going to be fasting together. So hopefully that works out for you. Now listen to this. If, if you have some type of medical condition that precludes you from being able to fast that many hours, then what I'm encouraging you to do is make sure you take your medication. And if you have to eat a little something with it, that is fine and that is acceptable. But you don't have to eat the whole four cup of meal. You don't have to eat the whole meal in order to take that little bit of pill that you talk about today. If it's necessary that you have to have something, go right ahead. You will find you within reason. The pastor had blessed it. The Bible told me that whatever I found on earth, God said, I'll find it in heaven. God gave me that authority. But if you do not have to have it, then you can wait for until after 3 o'clock p.m. That is what I'm encouraging you to do. We also have Travis. I'm going to read our Travis today. We have Travis today. We have one that I want my practice. Are there any unspoken requests? Are there anyone that we need to add to the practice? Lord, I thank you, Jesus. There are other, there's some that we need to add to the practice. Uh, look, we want to honor those, Lord, for God knows who those people are. You know who you have in mind when you're raising your hand, submitting that uh, pray for this one or that one. God knows exactly who it is. He knows exactly what's going on. But keep Anthony Weems and that family in prayer. Brother Burnell Fleming, Dennis Winter, Kenneth Burnell, and that family, Marty Amos, keep Marty in prayer. Michael and Z, that family, Ron Lewis, Tyron Fleming, Lindsay Collins, the Ventures, Mary Stovall County, Fleming's Kimura, Stokes, Patricia, and Howard Burns, Jim, and Song Ward, Shakea Fleming. Ladera Fleming, Demarion Fleming, Carrion Fleming, keep them in your prayers. Serenity Robinson, Patrick Gillian, James and Marika Fleming, keep them in your prayers. Felicia and Antoine Collins, Eva Cornell, keep her in your prayers. Uh, uh, Joyce Prince, keep Joyce in your prayers. Francis Hunt, my mother, Dorothy Stennis. Dollar McBride, Mother Patricia Ammon, I've been talking to Mother Patricia Ammon over the weekend. She's doing okay. Thank God for her. But keep her in your prayers. Yeah. For children and grandchildren, Anita, Dustin, Anita, Alexia, and Athena, children, keep them in your prayers. And certainly all of the unspoken requests, we are going to pray for them also right now. Pray with me as we go before the Lord for these people. Heavenly Father, there is no God that I can. There's no one that can do the things that you do. There's no one that has the power that you have. In fact, the scripture says it's that power that belongs to you. Lord, and you told us that when we pray, you gave us the word, and you told us when we pray, that the effective and the fervent prayer for the righteous. Lord, you declared it ever fail in much. Lord, we pray that you will avail in this situation. Yes, God, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for it. Lord, we, you know the names, the name you know these Jesus. people, even the unspoken requests. Lord, you know Lord. every one of them. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will avail in these situations today. Avail in these lives. Yes, Lord. Have mercy yes, upon them. Yes, Some of them are sick, Lord. Yes, God. Some of them need deliverance, Lord. Yes. God have mercy. All of them need salvation. Save in your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bring salvation as only you can. But Lord, that's everyone that's on this list. Everyone, all these people that we've called, they're part of our community. 
the Lord, they're part of our family. They're connected to us. We are concerned about them, Lord. You told us that we could cast out cares on you. Lord, we care about these people. We care about their, their well-being. Lord, keep them and have mercy upon every one of them, we pray. We just trust you're going to do it. We thank you for doing it. We honor you for doing it. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the book of Luke, chapter number 8. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Luke, chapter number 8. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to take my time and preach Thank today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I got some time on my hand. So I'm going to take my time. Bless the Lord today. I'm going to need to take my time because Sister Patricia Lewis was in there last Sunday. Ooh. Oh my God. Lord, she. She kind of flicked it up for her. Yes, she did. Yes, she Made it a little slippery. Yes, she did. Trying to, trying to get the footing again. Yes, God, I thank you. Thank you. Thank God for the word that God gave you. Yes, there's hallelujah. No like yes, yes, yes. Like it. Thank you, Jesus. And there's only one God. Uh, Lord, and I thank God for the incredible word we received on last week. But God has sent us another word today. Thank you, Jesus. Luke chapter number 8, verse number 43. Listen to what the scripture says. It says, And a woman, having an issue of blood Thank for you, years, which had spent all of her living upon physicians. Thank you, Jesus. Neither could be healed any. Came behind him, as Jesus that is, and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stopped. Verse 45 says, And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude from thee and pressed thee, and sayest thou who touched me? Verse 46, Jesus said, Somebody has touched me. For I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not healed, hallelujah, she came trembling, falling before him and, and declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Verse 48 says, and he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace, Heavenly Father. We love your name. Lord, we honor your word today. Thank you for sending a word to us, Lord. Speak to us, we pray. And we thank you for all things. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to speak to us from the subject today. It says, who touched me? Who touched me? Who touched me? I like that. Ah, Lord have mercy. Jesus, what we find in our lesson today, Jesus, he's attempting to what he calls his father's business. What is he doing? He is doing the work of ministry. And apparently, the thing that he is doing has not gone unnoticed. Numerous ones have evidently seen him perform miracles. Someone have apparently heard him, heard him speak to some things that were impossible. Hallelujah. He, he spoke to some impossible situations and circumstances, and they were changed. The things that the Lord was doing have not gone unnoticed. Yeah. Right, right. 
Right. In fact, when Paul is standing before King Agrippa in the book of Acts, and he says this, he says, of the things that the Lord did while he was on the earth. He says, those things were not down there, Lord. The Lord did it. The Lord allowed it to happen. He allowed it to take place all for his glory. I told you before about this glory thing, that the glory only comes after the victory is won. The, the glory comes after the, the work has been done. Yes, right. The glory ensues or it comes after you've achieved the goal. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And whenever the glory comes, it's always commensurate or it's equal to whatever the, the victory was yes. that you achieved. Yes, yes. If it was just a small victory, then then that's what you're going to have is glory, glory is small. But if you have a great victory, then I'm telling you the glory is going to be great. Since we can do nothing of ourselves, you and I know what if you don't know what I'm telling you, we can do nothing of ourselves. Paul writes and says, it is in him that we move and we have our being. To God be the glory for everything that happens in our life. Oh, Lord, mercy, I'm talking from the subject that says, who touched me? Our scriptural text admits that there was a certain woman. The Bible does not take time to name the woman. And I think neither is her name required to be known. It's not important that we know her name, but if what is important is what happened to her. Now, uh, what we know about her, the thing that God does and he'll find out about it, is that she has apparently seen the Lord do something. Amen. She's apparently heard God do something. Maybe it was an incredible healing that he did, but she saw it and she heard it. Possibly she's, she's seen him heal somebody. She may have been an eyewitness to something God, to him delivering somebody. And as a result of what she has seen, and as a result of what she has heard, Lord have mercy, she has gained some faith. Yes. Now her faith has grown out right. of what she has seen. Her faith has grown out of, of, what, of the things that she's heard about. Paul writes and he says, faith coming by hearing. Right. Ah, uh, hearing by the word of God. She has apparently gained some faith as a result of, of seeing some things and hearing some things. This unnamed woman, when we read the story, what we realize is that she has come to a place in her life where she now and I said she needs her faith. Yes. She's exhausted everything else she had. Anything else of value that she had, she's already exhausted it. And now she's entered a place where the only thing that she has of value left is her faith. Right. Uh, The only thing that helps her to achieve that is her faith. God has allowed her. He has given approval for her to apparently get to her wits end. She's in a place where she can't handle the situation anymore. Mm -hmm. She's in a place where she can't fix the situation. God has apparently given approval. And, and often apparently God sometimes gives approval to allow things to happen in our life that really strip us of our resources. Right. 
right. get up here, man. I wish right. God would right. help me with this. Right. Right. Every once in a while, God will, will put us in a situation, in a place where all of our resources are not enough to meet the situation that's going on. Yes. You don't have enough. All right. It doesn't matter about the money that you have. The money doesn't answer this issue. Doesn't matter about the degree that you have. The degree don't mean anything at this point. Not in this thing. You, your degree doesn't is not even honored. The only thing that act that is worth having in this moment and at that moment in time is our faith in God. Right. Amen. I'm telling you, my brother and sister, that's the only thing. Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. When God gets finished with this situation, uh, because he doesn't want any flesh to blow in his sight. Right, when right. God gets finished with this situation, we are going to know without a shadow of a doubt that it was God that did it. Right, that's right. Uh, God is the one that worked it out. He is the one uh, that made it right. Old song that says Jesus can work it out. That's right. Uh, if you let it. Uh, the problem that I had, uh, it says I just couldn't sing the song. Mm -hmm. I prayed and I prayed. Amen. All I did was just got deeper involved. Well, finally, I turned it over to you. Uh, Lord, I love this name for it. Uh, and sometimes we have to turn it over to our faith in Jesus. We got to allow our faith in Jesus to work. Uh, you can't fix the situation you're dealing with. You don't have the answer to it. In fact, there is no answer to it. The situation this woman is dealing with is likely an incurable disease. She can't really fix this situation. In fact, the Bible says that she's already pursued all of the, the doctors. She, she's gone after the traditional way that we usually do whenever things happen in life, right? When the way we approach life in the traditional way, oh, because the way we do it is, is, is that we, we go after certain things that we, we know of. We, we call the smartest person we know. Right. <laughs> Say, can you help me? The traditional way is that we go after the doctor and get a first opinion. And we don't like what he said, we get a second opinion. And if we don't like what he said, we go and get us a third opinion. Amen. We're doing it the traditional way. It, the traditional way is when we get in situations where we can't fit, we can't handle, sometimes the, what we do, we call the law. Amen. Maybe they can help us with it. Maybe they can help resolve the situation. The traditional way that she has tried has failed. Amen. It has not yielded her the results that she was hoping to have. Lord have mercy. But that was fortunate for her. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Now, why well, Bishop why don't you say that was fortunate for her? She she's in a terrible situation. Why did you say it's fortunate that none of those other things that we traditionally go out and work for her. Why, why are you saying that? I'm saying it because if she could have done it herself. Right. God. If she could have fixed That's this right. situation That's herself. Right. Hallelujah. There may have been reason for flesh to glory in God's sight. But I'm telling you, the reason God allows some things to happen is because he don't want any flesh to glory. He wants to get the glory for it. He wants to get the glory. Uh, somebody sang a song and said, all the glory belongs to you, Lord. All of the glory belongs to you. I'm trying to encourage your heart today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, man. Our faith in God will never make us ashamed and never allow us to be ashamed. Our faith in God is powerful and whenever our faith is properly placed and grounded in God, it allows us to be able to speak differently. 
right? I, I began to speak some things differently because of what's in my heart. Now, I told you, when you ever want to hear what, what people have in their heart, listen to what the words say, are saying. Listen to what's coming out of their mouth. My faith, whenever my faith is properly grounded and placed in God, yeah. I am able to begin to speak some things. That, uh, in fact, I can speak like the three Hebrew folks. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, when they, they, they are faced with the certain possibility of yeah. death. That's right. Yes. They are facing the imminent punishment of being cast into this fire, mm -hmm. this furnace of fire. If they don't talk the right talk, say the right thing, do the right thing, they are going to lose their life. But even in the midst of that, their faith causes them to speak different. Listen to what their faith says. They said, even if the Lord don't do it. Uh, that's what faith, that's what our faith does for us. That's what my faith does. When my faith is properly placed and grounded in God, that I submit that even if he don't do it, that is not, that doesn't say that he can't do it, it's that he's not able to do it. Right, right, right. Oh, God is still there. Right. When our faith is properly placed and grounded in God, we begin to speak like Job. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Job has lost everything. You don't understand that it, 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 this faith that and this, these words that Job is uttering, they're not easy words to be That's honest. right. That's right. Uh, you, 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 if you ain't been there, you, you just haven't been there. Right. Uh, you ain't been there, you just haven't been there. But, but what Job is uttering is not something very easy to do right now. Amen. See, he done lost all of his children. They, they ain't somewhere gone. They are dead. Uh, he done lost all of his cattle. He done lost his houses. Look at Job. He done lost his, 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 his good health. Right. He done lost his wealth. But what did he not lose? He didn't lose his faith in God. His faith is still speaking and saying, no, he slay me. I'm going to still trust him. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's what, my, that's what faith takes you. That's what faith takes you, my brother. And so whenever you get your faith properly placed in God, properly grounded in God, you, you don't approach life the traditional way only, but you approach life by saying God is able. Trouble in my way. I may have to cry sometimes. Uh, trouble in my way. I may have to cry sometimes. I, I lay awake at night. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But somebody said, but that's all right. All right Hallelujah. My faith tells me something. Uh, my faith tells me that Jesus is going to fix it. Faith causes us to say, yes. I've seen him work. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Our faith causes us to submit that if he's ever done it for anybody, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. he can do it for me. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Our faith, your faith in God is powerful. And I'm telling you that there are sometimes we get in places, we'll come and we will eventually find ourselves in places in life. Like this unnamed woman. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We'll find ourselves in places in life where we are at our wits' end. We can't change this situation. Right. We can't fix this situation. We don't have nothing to, to answer this problem and this issue. But the thing that will work for us every time. He said, if I can hold on to my faith. Jesus asked the question. He said, who touched me? Yes. That's what we're dealing with today. Let me try to get through this lesson. Let me try to get through this lesson. The Bible says, with a certain woman, and she has 
an issue of blood. And she's been dealing with this issue for 12 years. The doctor admits that she spent all of her living upon physician, everything she has. She's got the first, the second, and the third opinion. Right. <laughs> and yet, and everybody has done some type of work on her, but yet the situation persists. She is not healed. The Bible says she could not be healed of any of those. None of their works that they did was able to fix the situation. The reason and the significance of this verse is that, it, is that because of the law of Moses, listen to this, this woman, if any woman, and what Moses writes in Leviticus, he writes and he says that if any woman have a prolonged yes. flow of blood, she is going to be considered unclean. That's I wish right. you did. Oh, I just, just walk with me just for a moment. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be through with this. Amen. Go ahead. This Amen. meant if she's unclean, mm -hmm. that she is going to be excluded from much of the religious life and the social life. Mm -hmm. And she's really, because of her uncleanness, she is not able to participate in the worship in the temple. That's right. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. In addition to her physical suffering, mm -hmm. she has now to live in isolation. Mm -hmm. She's dealing with the emotional stress of having to live in isolation. Yes, Friends can't come around because she's unclean. Yes. Anything she touches yes. is unclean. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. She's not able to attend the social gathering because she is unclean. She's dealing with the distress of being in this situation. So her desperation, in her desperation, verse 44 says she comes up behind Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy. She's hurting, but she comes. She is ashamed of the situation she's dealing with, yes. but she comes. That's right. That's right. She's broke, mm -hmm. but she comes. That's right. She don't have no money, mm -hmm. but she comes. Oh, God, have mercy. Yes. Help us. Yes. This woman comes in her desperation. She comes deliberately. She comes premeditated in her heart and mind. Right. That's right. That's right, Pastor. Because he's ever did it for anybody. He can do it for me. Amen. I've seen him heal others. Amen. I believe he can heal me too. I, what do I have to lose? Right. <laughs> I've lost everything. God have mercy. So she comes And she touches the Lord, touches the border of his garment, and the Bible says immediately she gets the healing that she receives. Yes, thank you, Lord. Verse 45 says, and Jesus said something at this point, which when this happens, uh, because he knows the circumstances, mm -hmm. he knows the situation, he knows what she's been dealing with, but she has come. He asked the question, he says, who touched me? Yes, Lord. How many know that whenever Jesus asks a question? Yeah, you already know that. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Somebody yeah. listening to me. Yeah. Whenever the Lord asks a question, he already knows the answer. Yeah. Yeah. He asked the question and he says, who touched me? Amen. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Everybody say, it wasn't me, Lord. It wasn't me. The Lord said, the Bible said, all of them denied it. And Peter finally stands up and says, Lord, now, 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 let, let's be serious about the situation. There's a lot of folks in here. There's a lot of people around you, Lord. And you're asking the question about who, who touched you. Uh, but, but I want you to understand something, what, what the Lord is saying. He said, everybody that came into my presence, didn't come with the same thing in mind. Yeah. Different kind of touch. 
You don't understand what I'm telling you. Everybody that show up to church don't show up for the same reason. Huh? Everybody don't come for the same reason, my brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Some come for a particular reason. This woman has a premeditated reason as to why she is in the place that she is. She know the law says, the ceremonial law says you can't be here. You're out of place. You know you don't supposed to be in here. Amen. You're going to make everybody else unclean. Right. Yeah. But she said, I got to come. Mm -hmm. I'm going anyway. That's right. I'm not going to go to, she didn't go to the Lord from the front, but the Bible says she approaches them from the back. Yes, Jesus. Jesus is who touched me. Yes, Jesus. He said, somebody deliberately touched me. Thank you, Lord. I, want, I, want, I wish you'd help me today. Help me, Lord. Somebody intentionally touched me. Yes, thank you, Lord. Somebody touched me because they decided that that's what they were going to do. Yes, Lord Jesus. They were going to touch me. So Jesus says, no, no, Peter, thank you for your explanation, but this is different. Somebody touched me. Somebody touched me. Amen. And I, but him touching me, something happened to me. I gave them something of me. I gave them what they were looking for. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I like that. Lord, I need you to help me today. Thank you, Lord. Well, help me to touch you today. Well, help me to touch you. Why are you passing by, Lord? Help me to touch you. I, I, I need some things from you, Lord. I, I, I need you to touch some things, God. I, I, I need you to heal some things. I, I, I need you to deliver. Hallelujah! I need you to do some things for me. God, do it for me, Jesus. Oh, I ain't talking about my brother or my sister. It's me this time, God. I'm the one that's standing in the need of prayer. I'm the one that's standing in the need of help from God. Lord, so why are you here? Hallelujah! Why are you here? God help me, Lord. I want to touch him. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I want to touch him. My brothers and sisters, our faith in God will never go unnoticed. Lord, I thank you. Our faith in God will never go unrewarded. And the Lord will deliberately touch you if you touch him. God will intentionally release upon you if you intentionally touch him. Come on now. Uh, Lord, I can assure you that our faith will always be honored whenever we bring our faith before God. Whatever faith you have in God, hold on to your faith. The Bible says in verse 47, and when the woman saw that she was not here, she realized that, yeah, they figured it out that it was me. They figured it out. She comes trembling. She's scared now. The Bible says she falls down before the Lord. Uh, see, you don't know what she's been through. Right, right, right. You don't know what she's had to deal with. You don't know. Uh, it, 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 your story is not her story. Yes, yes, yes. Her story is different from yours. Hallelujah. Thank she's you. had to deal with some difficult things in life. And it hadn't been just for one minute or one moment while she dealt with it for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. It's been going on for 12 years. Right. You don't understand what short her situation is. You don't understand how, it, how difficult this has been for her. You don't know how terrible life has been for her. So she comes, the Bible says, she comes trembling and she comes and falls down before the Lord. And then she began to speak to God and tell him, Lord, here's the reason I came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's the reason I had to touch you. Yes, Lord God. And Lord, when I touched you, I was immediately healed. The Lord, the Bible said, God speaks to her again. And he tells all of this this time. He says, daughter, Lord, have mercy. He calls her daughter. He said, be a good comfort. It is your faith. I've honored your faith. I'm 
your faith in that thing which has made you whole. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Look at the Lord changing this woman's life. Look how different her life now is going to become. He tells her, Lord, peace. Yeah. Her life now becomes so different because she, she, had, she, she found some faith in God. Yes. And despite the situation and all that she'd gone through, she could have decided that, well, if nothing else has helped, I why should I trust the Lord? Why, why should I trust him? Oh, Lord, have mercy. But she said, that I, 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 there's nothing else for me to do. I must trust him. I got to have faith in him. So she exhibits, she, she shows her faith in God by going and she touches him. The Bible says she touches him. And as a result of touching him, the Lord touches her back. The Lord touches her back. I'm telling you today. I'm telling you today that if you'll seek the Lord, if you'll seek the Lord, I don't care what your situation is, it doesn't really matter how long you've been dealing with it. If you continue to seek God for your situation, and listen, seek Him with, 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 with faith that is all, that's determined faith. That bring the same faith that this woman brings. This woman brings determined faith. Now she's determined to get from God what she needs. Uh, Lord, I appreciate you. She bring the same faith that those three Hebrew boys brought. Right, right. That right. doesn't matter what the outcome is right now. I'm not going to relinquish my faith in God. I'm not letting go of my faith in God. I'm going to hold on to my faith in God regardless of what happens. Oh, my goodness. I told you this before. I'm going to tell you this again as I get ready to sit down here. The Lord is more concerned about our faith That's right. than any other thing about us. Thank God for those things that he allows us to have in life. Thank God for our careers and, and our families and what have you, the things that we have that we desire and wanted in life. God allowed those things to happen. But I'm telling you that God is more concerned about your faith in Him right, yes. than any of those things. Right. Yes, yes. Uh, if you lose all of those things, just like this woman, I'm telling you that this is not written uh, it, by by happenstance. When He submits that she had, she spent all she. He's talking about the fact that she has, she has uh, everything that she's had is gone. She has nothing. My Lord, whenever we find ourselves in a space like that, Lord, I mean, the thing that we must have is going to be our faith. The only thing that really answers the situation and helps us to get past and get to a place in God that He desires for us is our faith in Him. Ah, yes, oh, Lord, have mercy. If you haven't touched Him, you need to touch Him. Right, right. Uh, you need to reach out and touch the Lord. Somebody said, as He goes by, you'll find He's not too busy to hear your faintest cry. Thank God for that. Uh, but He is passing by this moment. Thank you, Lord. Your needs to supply. Reach out. Go on and reach out and touch the Lord. Stand with me right now. Stand with me right now. Reach out and touch the Lord mm. as He goes by. Thank you, Jesus. Let me pray with you right now. I'm going to pray for you. Because I know it's the people that need some help from God. Yes, yes Lord. We've got to replace in God, but apparently we've been yes, stripped of all of our, what yes. we have, our yes. resources and things. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. But the one thing that remains. Thank God it remains in our faith. Yes, yes. Now, I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, you hold on with, to your faith and don't let it go. If you believe God can do anything and do all things, you hold on to yes. that and don't let it go. Regardless, yes. regardless of what happens, yes. 
whatever is presented to you, regardless of what's presented, yes. you hold on to that Hallelujah. faith in God. Hallelujah. That I believe God is yes, yes, yes. I'll go to my grave and to believe God. Hallelujah. I'll go to my grave and believe in Thank you, Jesus. And he can do all things. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God can do it. Yes, he can. Hallelujah. Lord, I honor you for doing it. I honor you for doing it. Lord, I bless your name. Let me pray for us right now. Heavenly Father, we honor your name. Thank you for being the God of our salvation. Thank you for being the God of Savior to do all things. Lord, we come to you today with our faith and our faith speaks in the midst that we believe that there's nothing too hard for us. But Lord, I'm, I'm reminded today that, that, that some of us are in places, some may be online, maybe in places that they need some help. They need some deliverance. And it's not happenstance that it happened, Lord, but you allowed it to happen. Because you know that you, what you were going to do. Lord, I'm praying that whatever situation we're in in life, Lord, we are dealing with in life. Lord, I'm praying that you get the glory out of this situation. In fact, I believe you're going to get the glory out Lord, I, 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 I'm going to walk with my head up, trusting that you're going to get the glory out of this situation. Oh, I don't care what it looks like. I believe you're going to get the glory out of this situation, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, give me glory. All glory belongs to you, Lord. We all need for what you've done. We all need for what you've done. And you should continue to keep your hand upon your people. Keep your hand upon the soul. Help us to continue to trust you, faith, and have faith in you. Lord, help us to continue to serve you. Help us to continue to seek you, Lord. Because when everything else fails, God, you are there. And we know you're able to do it. We love you for it. Now bless us all. Continue to help us all. And we thank you for all things. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If there's someone that needs some help from God, he needs some help from the Lord today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, uh, how many believe God is the healer? How many believe God is the healer? I just believe He is the healer. I just believe He can do all things. In the name of Jesus. I still believe there's nothing too hard. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm just trusting God. I'm just trusting God. Somebody else might need some help. You need some help from the Lord today. You need God to answer the situation. You need it. You need it. Oh, uh, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy upon us. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hold on to your faith in God. Hold on to your faith in God. God, you can God do it. God is able to do it. God is able to do it. God is able to do it. God, thank you for doing it. Oh, God, you can perform it. God, thank you for doing it. Thank you for the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you, man. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, I'm asking you to have mercy on the strength of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Strength of the way you will. Lord, you're able. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know the things that she did. You know what's happening, God. Lord, it doesn't matter how long it's been happening. You know it. But God, we just said that you're able to do it. Lord, as I trust you, you trust me. Lord, as I lay my hand on you, you lay your hands on me. Hallelujah. Lord, her faith says that you can do all things. Lord, her faith that you said that you don't do it, you still able. Lord, thank you for her faith. Thank you for her doing it. Lord, thank you for this entire assembly. But thank you, Lord. You should keep your hand on your duty for your name. Say, we believe in you for it. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus.
Pray with us right now. We're about to leave. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for thinking of us. Thank you for caring about us. Lord, we know you care about us because you send your word to us. You send your word to us, God. And, 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 and the epitome of your love, Lord, is your word. We thank you for loving us. Bless every soul. Be with us. Lord. Take care of us. Keep us even as we travel back to our home, near and far. But be with us, Lord. Have mercy upon us. We honor you for all you've done. And we're glad for all you want to do for us. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.